Great to go out of the great community. I'm Dave. I'm Thomas. Or Super Dave. Or Superior David. Or whoever you want to call me Superior that day. Superior David. Oh. Let's not even talk about the last names from last night. So oh. we're not even going to talk about that. That's a whole other conversation. For, people, for the people who know, they know. For the ones who don't know, you'll never know. So um, today we're getting. I'm getting into something heavy. This is the first to go of the day. It is almost 11 and uh, I'm starting out really heavy well, really heavy with I, the, uh, I'm usually a light smoker I know and I'm doing heavy as well okay so can I tell them what my smoker is or you cut me off next time I mean, redo that we're not redoing it we're keep keep it rolling okay it rolling. okay well she is raw and it's unabridged 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 that's a new word New word. Anyways, they don't mean. Didn't they have a Dragon Ball Z on a bridge? Yes, they did. Well, anyway, uh, I am smoking the Neanderthal AGN. And I'm smoking the Quattro Cinco by Joya de Nicaragua. <laughs> <laughs> so, you butchered that name. It's Hoya. The Nicaragua. Well, there you go. Yeah. You learn something new every day. That's the whole point of this YouTube channel, is to teach you the proper way to say the names and some picking up some of the proper profiles from these cigars. Have you smoked this one before? I have not smoked a cigar in a long time. What about the Neanderthal? I smoke a shit ton of those. <laughs> Which one do you have preference for? It depends on the type of day. Today, I need the H I need the HN. This cigar I was supposed to I was supposed to smoke on this video. Um, I'm not. I, I could still smoke that one, but I woke up this morning. I want an HN, and we're here. You just have a specific flavor of yeah, cigar that, you want. Yeah, it's a. It's a. It's a. When you want that strong cocoa, that strong that that well, chocolatey flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what you want. I mean, you can smell that cigar and you can smell chocolate. Yes, that was that was one of my actually first cigars I got at Spring Street here, was that one, and it was uh, someone gave it to me. Realized I was new. Why not? To Spring Street. I would not give anybody who's new to the cigars in general, or someone who's been smoking for less for a little bit more of a time than you. I would not get that cigar to them. Really? No. Well, I liked it. It was a nice cigar. It, it is a powerhouse. It is a cigar that I would not give to someone who is not uh, who has not smoked at least a half a box of LFDs. Half a box. Yeah. Wow. And the DL five hundred, DL seven hundred with that. I mean, you had to smoke the big boys because that's a it's a heavy cigar. That's a heavy cigar. Heavy flavored. Uh, heavy. Heavy in the uh, spring profile. I'm surprised you even made it through that cigar, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah. My, must have been the food I was eating that day that helped. Yeah, so I'm kind of curious as to how it's going to go with me because I haven't ate anything since 12 o'clock. No, 2 o'clock yesterday. Shout out to Big Greg with the G Spot with that catfish yesterday, man. It was awesome. Just saying. It was. I bet it was. But yeah. Uh, Wait, you didn't come get Kathy yesterday? No. What the hell? What the hell? What the I, was, hell? I was feeling under the weather. Oh, whatever. <laughs> How does there... <laughs> See, so you came out from Catfish, man. You would have felt better. Is that the fourth wall breaking? That's the fourth wall breaking. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm loving this already. <laughs> <laughs> well, here. Start, light your cigar with my lighter. And then I'll light mine. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> That's some bullshit. Right? <laughs> Pause for the cut. <laughs> One of the time. So, uh, Wesley, who's uh, who's cutter and lighter are you using first day's video? Uh, it's a very nice silver color. It kind of looks like the one I got in my pocket. Wait, that is the one I carry in my pocket. Really? Yeah. Well, 
You need a lighter too. You want me to? You mean light that for you too? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. You're recording, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. That that was cute. Yeah. It was. <laughs> it's my d distant family's cutter. <laughs> Yeah, I was the uh, first cigar of this guy. I came in there, I was like, what's your favorite? This is my first time in here. Hands me that. Mm. Want some coffee beans? What kind of coffee beans though? Espresso. Uh, white chocolate covered why do we have? They're, they're delicious. I have I, white chocolate covered. I thought I was gonna only eat two of them. I ended up eating six, so that's that's where we're at with those. Yeah. Like, mm. Chocolate. Yeah, espresso bean. Goes well. Some wood. It's rolled. I mean, it's all on the, yeah, I mean it's been wrong. Yeah, yeah. That's on the wrapper. That's not even in the cigar. It's on the wrapper. Let me see this. Oh wow. Yeah. I don't even know what wrapper they're using that cigar. <coughs> they're using that cigar, but that's all on the wrapper. It's San Andreas good. smells like it. it smells somewhat similar like that, but San Andreas has a lot more pepper, and you would get that pepper in your nose. Light it up, homie. <laughs> Mexican San Andreas wrapper. In the ATM? In the Anthal ATM? Uh, let me... Not on the crowd? Let me make sure. The rapper's Mexican San Andreas, yeah. That's why I love it. And that's why I love it. So this is mellowed out a whole lot. Uh, this is a five-year-old anniversary. This is a five-year-old cigar that we had here in the shop that um, no one was buying a lot of. Was a, no, they come in crates of 50, I think. Yeah, like but that. aren't they like really high? They're up? on the top shelf, and I push people up. Put some of the people's hands. People who've been here who've been smoking cigars for a little while, they want. They say, "I want something to punch me." I'm like, mm, "No." I said, "You don't." Y'all yeah, really do. I said, "Okay, this is this is this is all I'm gonna give you. It's heavy. This is what we're gonna go with." Don't don't say I didn't want. Say I warned you because it's gonna be a, a stout. Oh, I, I can handle it. Two hours later, man, that's a car strong, man. I'm like, mm, I told you. Shoot, that one that you gave me a few weeks ago, that really thin one, um, that's, I think it's yellow and brown. What was that one that uh, Josh loved? That Aladino Coro Reserve in the We did yeah. a video on it. Yeah, that one was like mind blowing. Smacked me in the face. Yeah, instantly hit in the nose with pepper. Anything that I've done from Undergrounds hit me the same way. So like what are your uh, first inhales flavor pepper. palette? Pepper. Same pepper. here. On the retro is pepper. Uh, so getting that little bit expressive of pepper, mostly. But I've also noticed once it gets past the little foot deal here. Mm -hmm. It, that, that pepper kind of mellows out, and this when it's put the fat in, well, the fat in anyway, it mellows out and it's phenomenal. Then it picks back up, back right up in there. With the spice or with the flavor? Flavor. This one 
for the three times I've smoked this one, it started out really spicy and a little oakiness to it. It's just smacks you. Not as not as hard as number four. That what rapper out. was on that one? This is the Nick Wagner rapper and Philly. Okay. So. Okay. Huh? Because I agree. Some of the and some of the problem with some of the reviews I've I've read or even what well, some of the blends that give out that companies give out, which I this one of my pet peeves now is now is. They don't get real specific on what rapper they put on and what their blends are because they, they I guess they want to keep it secret. Well, I understand that, but at the same, at, at some point, the consumer wants to know what rapper I'm smoking and what soil it was used. Well, I mean, not so much as that, but you know, if if you can go into that detail on your website, that's mm-hmm. one thing. But when you're talking to um, a publication, a publication like Cigar Aficionado or uh, Cigar Snob or uh, um, what's some other places? Uh, Half Wheel. We talk to both people and they give you, they ask for your blend. I mean, you gotta tell them how much you use of this, how much you use of that. You just wanna know what section, what region of Nicaragua that tobacco came from. What region of Honduras that wrapper came from, or that in, that a pillar or that binder came from? That would help people. I feel like for me, anyway, uh, that would help me to kind of pinpoint. Okay, I like tobacco from the Corojo Valley in Honduras, from CLE. That's, CLE is, is my jam, but yeah, I like tobacco from this valley. I like my rappers to come from this valley. Mm-hmm. I like, you know, right now it's, it's Mexico. I mean, the San Andreas is, is what I love the most. But I just don't understand it. Yeah, see? It's spicy. That one puts out amazing smoke. The coffee and that the espresso, the chocolate covered uh, chocolate covered espresso beans brought the coffee out of this way more and it doesn't the coffee beans aren't like just fill your taste buds mm-hmm. with coffee it hints at it mm-hmm. with the white chocolate so it's definitely see right that little once that it's a it's a little thing on the end and once that burns off that pepper and that spice is not gone away it's still there it's just it's like a darker portion of the wrapper on the yeah. tip of that yep. And a lot of times when cigars have spice in them, the foot then burns spicy, and then after you get past the foot, it mellows out and then picks back up at the end. That's what a lot of cigars do that have spice to them, from what I've noticed. What's weird about it is how dry it makes your mouth look. <laughs> so, you want a coffee? I'm probably going to need something. I already had two cups of really. We're not being paid to sponsor any coffee. Or cigars, but I do like what I like. <laughs> yeah, I like it for a reason, because it's good. It, well, I like I like the way Cam had to set up. I mean, it's two guys, two men in the industry or whatever. Cam, a football player, and then the guest is either a cigar smoker uh, who is either fairly new to cigars or someone who's been in the game for a while. Yep. And it's the questionnaires and what they talk about. It's kind of just like what we're doing right now, just sitting around chilling, just smoking a cigar, talking about it, but not talking about it at the same time. I actually like talking about it because I like cigars, and I hope that everybody that's watching this video likes cigars. And it's not a social status for you is actually something that you enjoy doing. Have you seen the one with the Steve Harvey? Yeah, and that's why I was talking about I'm not doing that. Steve Harvey was amazing. No, he was not. Steve Harvey, I wouldn't put this one, I wouldn't put this one in there, but I'm gonna talk to the camera on this one. But I don't, I don't you put it there if you want to. Yeah, you don't have you don't have to, and I don't care either way. Steve Harvey 
in that video uh, said something that really bothered me as a cigar smoker. Appreciate it. And the thing that he said was, holding his cigar, this don't taste good. Oh, that part, yeah. This don't... I don't, this, this don't taste good. And he said that, and I'm sitting here now, and, and, and people I follow, the blenders, the the master blenders, all the cigar companies I follow and, and enjoy, we all, I, I, we all sit and talk about tobacco. Mm-hmm. And how, I mean, Nick Malalo, if he had saw that, he'd probably lose all of his. But, I digress. But anyway, he said that, and I was like, oh, you're so wrong, Steve. You do you're make a valid point. You're so wrong. I mean, if you're if you're smoking a cigar to where um, you're not picking up any flavors, then I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not smoking a cigar the way you need to be smoking it. But I can't tell Steve Harvey how to smoke a cigar. Steve Harvey is if he well, however old, he's older than me. He's my senior, and I show him much respect because Steve has been in the game a lot longer than I have. But to say that. There's no flavor in a cigar. I mean, I don't know if someone, when he starts smoking cigars, someone just say, hey, here, smoke this. Or if someone actually sit down and say, all right, now what are you getting from this? Because this is not a, this is not something that you do to look cool. From not, I mean, I look cool anyway, but still, this is not something you do to look cool. This is something you do because you enjoy it. Yeah. You enjoy the time sitting down and having a conversation with somebody that you probably would never talk to. And I talk to a lot of doctors, I talk to a lot of lawyers, a lot of teachers, a lot of people, people who, um, people making six figures a month. Yes. Every day. This is not, a, this is not a one time, once a month type thing. This is every single day. And this is in Tupelo. So I can only imagine what it's like in Atlanta, Alabama, oh, man. Florida, uh, LA, Chicago, those big cities. I can only imagine what it's like. Shoot. You and I have an experience together on that. Mm-hmm. A guy came in to the members lounge where we filmed these videos and we are just sitting there talking. Didn't like uh, his preference as a cigar wasn't the one we were smoking. So he went downstairs, bought a, uh, what, Davidoff? The, the Davidoff Royale. Royale. $115 cigar. Bought it for all three of us. And just sat there and smoked it with us. So, I mean, it's not about how much money you spend on a cigar. It's just... But he is the, a very... The, yeah, the, it's just like, a, like the, name, the name of the channel. Great cigar, great community. I mean, and in my in our shop, this community has grown over the last seven years to be um, just amazing. The amount of people that I've met, the amount of people that I've become friends with is... has been great. So, I don't... I don't just when I smoke a cigar with those people, it's not that it don't taste good. Because if I'm not, I'm not. If I'm smoking a cigar, and all my friends who people who are with me smoke cigars with me, they're the same way. They can smoke a. She can. I know a few that can pick up a cigar and smoke two puffs out of it. I'm not gonna like this. Throw it down, and get another one. It's a thirty-five dollars cigar. I'm not gonna like it. That's thirty-five dollars. I don't like it. I get another one. You said it the best. There's some cheap cigars that outweigh yeah. the flavor on higher price. Absolutely. Oh my god. There's so many cigars down there. Uh, in the eight to twelve or thirteen dollar range, that will probably out, that will not that will outsmoke some fifteen to twenty dollar cigars. I hands I, I I can name off two right now. You want name drop? No, I'm not name drop. <laughs> They've been on the channel before, and they will be on the channel again because I like smoking them. But um, Roma Crap, I mean, can't fuck. I mean, Roma Crap is killing. It has been killing the game. Uh, the Aquatane Mode Five is has become one of my favorite cigars. Uh, it's in the top ten of one of my favorite cigars, favorite cigars to smoke. Uh, I actually enjoy smoking a whole lot. Mode 5 is the Perfecto, right? Yeah. Yes. They have two. It's a Mode 5 and it's another one that is, uh, I can't pronounce pronounce it. Uh, that's another thing that skipped me to work on these <laughs> names. God, how you pronounce these <laughs> <laughs> And Dave, 
describe a perfecto for those who don't know what we're talking about. A perfecto is kind of like a pyramid. So it's, it's tapered on the top and it's also tapered on the bottom. So okay. this this one will be somewhat similar to it, but when you first saw when I first lit it anyway, how it tapers toward the, how it got big and then taper small. This one don't, but that's the way some of the, the pyramids are. They're literally tape on this end, tape on that. I always describe as looking like a football. Yeah. Uh, the one that was like now the one like a football, the, uh, the like the uh, the La Roa Preferidos. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Nub size footballs. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just talking about in the shape. It kind of gives you an idea on both yeah. sides that's pointed on either end. But the mode five is the traditional perfecto, not perfecto, traditional one made. Right. I think anyway. Um, and it's the Aquatane is is uh, it's pretty good. It's dang good. I actually enjoy smoking that cigar a lot. I smoked a good bit of them a couple of days ago. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop smoking them. And it's that's uh, one of the things I like about Roma Craft. They have a lot of different sizes in one blend. I mean, and each. And it's not the blend. I don't know for sure. That somebody to reach out to the, some of the some of the, uh, the Weezer lights and all the Roma the Roma lights. What you gonna call them anyway? Reach out to some of those guys and find out that if the blend changes on those sizes, because you have like with the HN, you have a knuckle dragger. You have the H, well not the HN, but the Neanderthal blend. You have a knuckle dragger. You have the HN, and you have the um, what's it called? It's a smaller one than the knuckle dragger. So it's each one of those sizes, even though that blend is strong, each one of those sizes is gonna smoke different. Which is crazy. And that, that's why I learned from I learned I got that from Roma Crap. Because even though a lot of companies do different sizes, that's a I mean that's that cigar changes the blend, the taste on the blend, the taste on the blend changes from size to size. And then just to mention, Wesley's cigar only comes in one size. So yep. that's interesting. Yeah. Yep. And Hoya, Hoya makes a cigar that is probably up there with this one called the Unto called the Antonio. Antonio. And uh, that one is their T A their T A A cigar is strong. Yes. The Hoya Nicaragua on Antonio is a I think the Antonio is a size. I could be wrong. I may be wrong on that one. I have to see, but uh, but yeah, that the that's a it's a it's a style cigar, very style. That was actually the first cigar to put me on my. Head. <laughs> what are you getting off of that one now? A little bit of hay. The pepper has died down some. Got some chocolate on that one. Dark chocolate. Don't you like when you do that though? That's always cool. When you like smoke a cigar and all of a sudden you yeah. take a couple of hits and you're like, okay, I get this, and then you sit back for a minute and you Okay. That's how you know you get that, that good flavor when you go. Whoo! Yeah, yeah. Just That's how you know when you get that good flavor when you go, whoo! <laughs> the only thing that makes a bad cigar is when you smoke it. When he said that, I was like, he ain't lying. Nope. You can go in, you can go in the human door and buy that $115 cigar that ran uh, the, uh, the, uh, that the that off Royale. You can go in there and buy that, buy that cigar. And the biggest <laughs> thing I could walk in here and sit down and start talking shit about all oh, you look pretentious about you, a little expensive cigar, and that cigar becomes yeah, why you, worse. Why are you spending your money on yeah. expensive cigars? That cigar becomes the worst cigar because you have to sit there with, and some people won't. Some people give them walk away, but some some people be like, okay, it's not good, I'm done with it. And throw it in go because, and the whole world cigar. I think that's why you
and someone else who I would make the channel uh, right in the coming weeks or coming months anyway. Um, but yeah, I already got two in mind I want to smoke. And that's another company you can smoke. Uh, there's, there's one blend right now. I smoked four different sizes of that blend and each one of them were different. Really? Yeah. Each one of them different. The flavor profile, the flavor profile is different, but you get it in different spots. Mm. So the way, Brian, yeah, the way Brian explained to me is he, blend, uh, he blends all of those cigars to be good at that size. Mm. Even though he do multiple sizes for one cigar, he blends all the cigars to taste good in that in that. So he's that's just not copy and pasting the whole mm -hmm. same thing on different presses and wraps. Which I've seen that happen. That's the way it's like. You know. No, this is a this is a one cigar is picking me up. I mean, you look strong coffee now. Awesome. Just black, straight, cold brew. <laughs> I wish my favorite coffee now was open on Sunday, but they're not. Which one are you talking about? Boston Found. Boston Found. Yes, sir. Boston Found will be in our, one of my, probably our next video. Yep. Um, we gotta figure that out because that's gonna be recorded somewhere where we can probably still smoke and we have a collar on. And Colin's the owner of Lawson Bell. Cool. We need to drink coffee and talk about coffee because you want to talk about cigar nerd, you want to talk to me, talk about coffee nerd, talk about Colin. Yeah. So that should be an interesting video to watch. And we will probably even give away a free bag of coffee we on the video. Nothing. That's his stuff. He's giving away that something. I'm not giving it. You don't work here now for me. Shoot, I don't even give my kids a hug. <laughs> and they're fine. Thank you. I'm like, I'm sorry. I hug my children, I love them. But, what's the next topic? I mean, what thing was. Lane Superior David's in the house. He's just not hugging children, yeah. not giving away Smoking a strong cigar on no food and two hours of sleep. Yeah. He just here. Just here. Well this is this is starting to ramp up. I can feel it. Uh, I feel like that really sweet coffee is kind of almost kind of like taking over taking over it kind of. Is it hiding the coffee notes? A little bit. How to take off a rough wrap man? That's how you take it off. You don't tear it. Although I do tear it one time because something else will come off. You get more oaky notes now. Coffee's gone away probably because I just say the. So that's why I'm getting on this one a lot more, a lot more cedar. And I'm pretty sure all my espresso note that I was picking up earlier is getting eaten mm -hmm. behind this because it's so sweet. Yep. I've told you many times. You got a cutter? Mm -mm. Nope. Who's that one? Oh, that's mine. Why don't you even have one? No, mm, I don't. You, I do have one. You don't have one. And you won't get mine. Because you had your cigar in your mouth. Savage. And that's gross. Savagery. No, I mean, it's the truth. Wait, flip the shit. Mm. Hell we man. What do you got? That oak is still dominating. Let me try it one more again. A little espresso, but I don't know if it's from the beans or from this. It isn't as strong as it was at the beginning, which on the multiple tipper. review channels, mm -hmm. this is a strong cigar. 
which I think we said in the, more, uh, in the beginning, this is probably one of the first we I've actually done that is a darker leaf on this channel. Hmm? Really? I think so. I think it's one of the first. So, you want to talk about that time where um, <clears throat> you had Karina go down there and pick you as the girl and take the band off of it? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that turn out? <laughs> so, I need the audience to quiet down. So the story behind that is, if any, any of you guys follow us on Instagram a while back, uh, this was last year sometime, I had Karina go into the humidor on the outside wall, grab me a cigar, and the price range between uh, eight to thirteen dollars, eight to fifteen dollars in a way. And I said, grab me a cigar that I hadn't smoked in a long time, or when I hadn't smoked, take the band off of it, bring it to me, let me smoke it. It wasn't to, it wasn't to see if I could name that cigar. It was just to see how much. Like I said, and this is where the comments is the way it started. That was I was listening to a, listening to a podcast, and they were talking about um, the bands taking the bands off and smoking cigar with the bands on them because sometimes those bands will sway your yep. objection objection about the cigar. And I, okay, I said, well, I'm going to do a blind tasting, let somebody go in there and grab me a cigar, take the band off of it, I pay for it, boom. And Karim did that one day. And I smoked it and I remember thinking, got a lot of pepper, I could pick up everything because I was more attentive to it. I was more, more you were focused, I was focused on, on it. And uh, so when I got to the product about where I met on this cigar, I said, all right, what is it? And she said, again, you don't know? I said, no, I don't know what it is. I, you probably, I probably would never get to you what it is. And she dropped the band in front of me and it was a Rocky Patel something reserver or whatever. And I was like, oh, uh, hmm. Would you have ever got those flavors or perspective from that cigar with the band on? But that's a cigar I would never picked up either. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not a it's not bad, but it wasn't it wasn't a part of my wheelhouse, and I wouldn't spend money on smoke it again though. Well, all right, that's a great cigar, great community. I'm Dave. I'm Thomas, and we're out. <laughs>